What is going on everybody Z here and welcome back to scrap mechanics. So today, okay. All right today We built that in the last episode. You know what? I've, I've heard it. I've heard it. I've heard it long enough. Today's the day We're gonna make a piston powered car because I every single video There's hundreds of comments about making a piston powered car. So we're gonna do it. Okay, fine. You guys win Are you happy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've been needing to do this for a while uh, so today we're actually going to make it happen. Hopefully you guys enjoy if you do Please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more now the design I'm gonna be using this is not my own design So please don't tell me that I stole it from somebody the person that I saw that did this is Alstrak Alstrak a L S T R A K this person has the how-to video the breakdown the thing of the stuff that I saw and I was like You know what? I like that design. That's the design. I want to go with so I'm gonna go with it. I am not stealing it. I am not saying it is my own. I'm not saying it's my own. So I don't need to see that in the comments. It's gonna happen anyways. Anyways, all right, so let's get going. Let's do the things. Let's do stuff. So uh, we're gonna start off basic. We're gonna make the thing, uh, get it functional, and then possibly do some upgrading. Cause I mean, if we have a if we have a machine that looks like that, we can't, we can't just have some wooden car, you know? It's gotta look decent. It's gotta look good. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna need some basic things. We are gonna need those two pistons that I am making right there. We could do this with four. But uh, I just need those two for now. I need this uh, control. Wait, I already had. Wait, I already had two pistons. I guess we're gonna use four pistons. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go with four. <gasps> Wonderful. Uh, all right. I was gonna go with two, but we have. I mean, we have the extra two. Maybe we'll just start with the two. We'll start with the two. We'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Sounds good. All right, so we're gonna need those. Uh, I'm gonna need some logic gates, which I thought I had some in my inventory. So I know I'm gonna need that. Uh, do I not have a logic gate? Hmm. Oh my god, I had another one. Wait, what is this? Is that an upgraded one? Oh, let's take that one. <laughs> That'll be so much better. I have I have a whole bunch of those guys. Jeez Louise. We're gonna need a sensor. Actually, we're gonna need two sensors. Uh, man, look at all these engines I just have lying around. This is why I don't. I just. I didn't want to build it, you know? I didn't want to make it happen, but we're making it happen. Okay, so I need one more sensor, at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get our sensor. Uh, I don't have glue. Oh, man, I am so sick and tired of going and getting glue. I tell you what. Boy, I tell you what. I am also going to need wood. Oh, my gosh. I'm out of everything. So I'm out of wood. I'm out of like I'm out of like for, I'm, 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 out, I'm just out of everything. I'm just out of everything. I'm going to go get stuff. Uh, Okay. So other other things we're gonna need. I am gonna need some of these short pipes. So let's go ahead and make um one two three four five six maybe. Uh, we'll go ahead and make are these the six way pipes? We'll go ahead and make two of those as well. Now I do need two big wheels. I know I need that, and then I need the sensor, uh, and then I need logic gates, which I need more glue. I gotta go get glue. Golly jeez. All right, let's get started on this bad boy, shall we? Let's do it. Um, I want you. No, I want you. I want you up. I I need you. Uh, I need you ups and downsies. So I think what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hope that I have enough blocks. I think I'm gonna actually use these metal block threes because I want this to be relatively strong. Uh, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> oh, I probably should eat, huh? All right. So we'll grab a bearing. We'll throw that on there. We'll throw a wheel on there. Uh, and then we need to put some of these guys on here. Now we're gonna do one, two, three. I think we're gonna make it four on each side because like I want I want maximum movement, you know, or I want maximum width because I think what we're actually gonna end up turning this guy into is some kind of like mobile refinery kind of thing. But I just wanna make the engine uh, and make like the basic car first, make sure it's all working and stuff because like I said, I've, I've never built a piston driven car. So, um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna start with this. And then we'll go ahead and put one of those there, we'll put one of those there, one of those there. That, I believe, is where the pistons are going to connect. Yes. Yes. That is where they're going to connect. And then we got to do the same thing on this side. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Uh, we need another wheel. Is that going to be wide enough? Uh, it should be. We can always build on the outsides, too, because these piston engines... Piss, oh my gosh, piston engines are super torquey. Uh, so we should be able to move like a lot of stuff with it. And we're not even, I'm not even gonna worry about suspension because I think what we're gonna do is if we make this a mobile refinery base, we're gonna pretty much stick to the roads and then go out from there, bring the stuff back just so we don't have to bring it all the way back here to refine it. We can just boop, you know, come right back to our little, uh, little amazing place right here. 
All right, looking good. Uh, let's see. Is it... I think it's this way. Oh gosh, I'm probably already messing it up. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we got this. Uh, it actually doesn't seem like it's too bad. I was kind of thinking of the, hold on. No, eh, eh, one there. And I was actually kind of thinking about the mechanics and how this actually works. I was like, wow, that's actually pretty, like pretty, pretty nice. It's it's not, it's not too, too terribly uh, uh, difficult, too uh, confusing, confusing. That's the word I was looking for. Not too terribly confusing. Where's my other sensor at? And voila, okay. So now ideally when this thing rotates, these guys are gonna spin around too. So that's that's where we're gonna put blocks in. That's going to uh, kind of go in front of these and it's gonna tell those pistons to move, essentially. Essentially, for the most part, kind of-ish. Where did my blocks go? Where did my building, did I swap them in here? My gosh, I swear, it's, it's like I've never played this game before or anything. Uh, okay. And then we're gonna do uh, something like this, I believe. And so I believe what happens is this block right here is actually going to get rotated. And that's what's actually going to cause, the, cause these to uh, to start freaking out. Um, and then I believe we're good to go to make the rest of the frame. I think we are. Who thinks we're going to run out of blocks? I do. Oh. Well, would you look at that? We didn't run out of blocks. Now, is everything like welded together? Hmm. Let's get those together. Uh, okay, I think everything else is looking good. All right, so now comes the drivey bits. Now comes the pistons. Now, I believe all we're gonna have to do is, we, I think we just do this and that. That doesn't seem right. Maybe it does. I think it's fine. And some more fancy pipe bending and bearings. And then we should be doing pistons. So where's my pistons? Oh, <laughs> why did I put everything back? I don't know. Let me grab. Oh, I can't grab my logic. Now. Let's put that away. I'm not going to use that right now. Okay. All right. We should have everything now. Oh my gosh. I keep having to go like back and forth like 6,000 times here. Uh, we're going to need a piston on that one. We're going to need a piston on this one as well. And then I believe we're going to have to do this, do one of those. Uh, get some blocky blocks in here, and I think we're gonna have to oh hold on actually no Let's place those like like that and then do we need to weld the stuff? Perfect, okay, so that's all welded together all handy dandy like now uh, Since I have four pistons. I'm actually gonna repeat the same exact thing, but on the back side over here So I'm gonna bring this back. That's not back Bring it back like that I'm gonna run out of blocks like that, uh, boom, 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 boom. And then let's go ahead and weld. Oh, is this all welded together already? Oh, cool, it's looking good. All right, now I gotta do the exact same thing on this side. Uh-oh, am I seriously out of bends? All right, maybe we're good now. Maybe we'll have enough stuff to actually finish this guy. We're not going to have enough stuff, are we? Maybe we will. Uh, we won't, <laughs> we, we won't. My gosh. All right, uh, another piston, another piston. Looking good, let's go ahead and do that one on there. And I'm out of bends again, did I make enough? I think I made one more, yes I did, ha ha. All right, like that, and then let's get our building blocks back out. We're gonna do this, uh, that guy there, that guy there, let's get our weld tool, weld these together, weld that together, fantastic. All right, so uh, this is pretty much done for the most part. Now I gotta do uh, this guy, we're gonna put that guy there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some logic gates in here as well. We'll do a one there, one there, make them all even and nice looking and stuff. And then we just have to kind of set this stuff up. And I think we're going to be pretty much good. Now, I already have a seat right here, so that's kind of super amazing. Uh, and then do I have any more building blocks? Mm, I ran out of the good ones, but that's okay because I really just, I really just wanted this kind of thing protected. You know, I'm just like pretty much out of everything. Like I have like hardly any actual building oh i have 93 of these we'll use those <laughs> we'll just use that for now uh let's go ahead and just get a uh, a little deal in here make ourselves a nice seat that is not even that's not even that's not okay all right so we'll put that there uh let's grab our seat we'll throw the seat on here i am kind of putting the the cart before the horse but that's fine it's fine all right so we'll throw that there uh and let's go ahead and, and throw in our switches real quick so we'll go ahead and put one uh, we'll just throw one there and one there. Those are gonna be hooked up to the seat anyway, so I'm not really like that worried about it. All right, so this guy gets connected to here. 
Uh, and then we have to go in here. We have to have the default position at 90. And then this guy goes over here. Is it this one? Uh oh. Or is it this one? I think it's this one. I think we rotate it so it goes the other way. And the default position of this guy is, I believe, negative 15. And then I think that this one goes to negative or plus 60. I believe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see short enough. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful time, guys. This is going to fail the first time. Guys, comment down below. Do you think it's going to work the first time or do you think it's going to fail? I think it's going to fail. Just saying. All right. So I had to do, I had to, I just moved some stuff just to keep it simple. Okay. <laughs> Switches. Switch number one is hooked up to these two logic gates. Switch number two is hooked up to the controller for the advancement of the things. Uh, this logic gate is hooked up to that piston. This one's to that one. I believe this one's just going to go here. And I believe this one's just going to go here as well. Uh, that should seem, that seems backwards. That is probably backwards because I wouldn't want both of them going off at the same time. I'd probably want it like this and like this, right? That way they alternate. Uh, probably. Yes, probably. Okay. Uh, and then I think, I think we're good to go. And then we have the sensors hooked up. So when this sensor senses a block in front of it, it's going to try to extend this one and this one. And when it does that, it's going to put some forward rotation. And then the bottom one's going to come up and hit this one. And then that one's going to want to rotate uh, this logic gate, which is connected to this one and this one. So then those should extend. These two should retract, thus giving you continual rotation. It should, I think. I think that's how this works. Um, I, like I said, I'm not a scrap mechanic pro. Uh, if you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial, again, I'll, I'll you know, I'll just have a link down below. Okay, I'll have a link down below. <laughs> uh, and then the purpose of this guy is because while these are rotating, they're gonna run like at a certain speed. But when you hit a button, this is gonna turn a little bit. So then they're gonna pick up speed a little bit faster and faster and faster. Now I have to make sure that these are all set to two, and I want them at maximum speed. But I think we want to upgrade these guys, and luckily I do have, I do have, we have a few component kits. We should be able to upgrade these guys, no problemo. Uh, I don't know if we're going to upgrade all of them to max. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to go through like this first. All right. Okay, so I have enough for two more. So one, two. So I'm going to need two. I'm going to need four per deal. Ooh, I'm going to need another 16 to get this thing max. You know what? It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I'm about to go grind materials for the live stream today. Anyways, guys, twitch.tv slash d1 gaming. If you guys want to catch some live stream action, uh, I will be gathering materials in this stream. I will be doing it. It will be happening. So let's just go ahead. Let's just max that guy out. Maximum speed because you know what? We need max speed, right? Absolutely. 100% agreed. All right. How many component kits? We still have eight left out of 30. I mean, <laughs> that's insane. We just used so much. Uh, I do have some concrete. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm going to need some stuff for, for, some, for some front wheels. Um... I don't think I have any front wheels. We have scrap wheels, but I don't want to make scrap wheels. I want to make, uh, I don't have enough beeswax. I don't have enough of that. Okay. You know what? Uh, well, I don't want to, I don't want to test it yet because I don't have the front things. Uh, last thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the stuff. So, uh, on off switch is this one. That's going to tell these two that they can do the things and the stuff. Fantastic. And then this one is going to be the accelerator switch. Wonderful. Wonderful. I don't know if this is going to work. I really hope it does, but I'm going to have to go out and get some stuff, uh, to make these two front wheels. So I'll bring it back once I make the two things. All right, I'm looking at this. I don't think, you know what? I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. I think it probably should be this way. Because I think these two are going to fire at the same time. One's going to be over, one's going to be under. I think that's how it's going to work. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking, I was like, maybe that's not right. Because if they're all free spinning, uh, for the most part. Also, I just stole the front wheels off my car down there because, well, <laughs> I, just, I just did. Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, let me go. I had to go make a couple more bearings. We should be good. We should be good. Okay, so let's grab that on there. Let's throw this on here. Let's connect up our seat to that and that. Uh, Let's drop this down. Okay, that was kind of weird. All right, we got turning. Fantastic. Uh, Let's go ahead and throw some, let's throw some life in these front springs, shall we? Uh, That looks good. All right, we're gonna take it on its maiden voyage. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it might. I hope so. Uh, you guys have been asking for it for literally ever. All right, so ideally you press the first button to... Oh. Oh my gosh, it's working! It's actually work. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the speed. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something's not right here. Okay. I think maybe something's too far advanced. 
Um, let's pop that back a little bit, maybe? Alright, now let's try it. Alright, now let's do that. That doesn't seem any faster. That seems much slower. Okay. Uh-oh! Whoop! Got turned off! I mean, it's working! It's super slow, though! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I didn't build a piston car to start with. It's not, it's not very quick. All right, we have a working piston engine. It does the things, it does the stuff. It's not super fast and it's actually not even close to as fast as the, uh, the thing that I saw with it. But it does allow us to, yes, move free of a fuel. And if we need to go backwards, we can flip this switch. And this will actually start sending me backwards in a second. There you go. Or we can just turn the whole thing off, flip it back, good to go. So yes, we do have a piston-powered engine now. It's It works. It does the things. But the whole point of me building this was because you guys wanted me to build one. So we have one. We did it. Here it is. Enjoy. Like I said, I'll have a link to the original video down below. And the whole purpose of this vehicle specifically is going to be as a uh, like a mobile refining station. So I'm not super worried about it being fast. It would be nice if it could be a little bit faster, though. Uh, but you know, it, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And that's going to end this episode for now. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful one. Also, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll try to answer them if I can. But like I said, uh, yeah. Anyways, it, it was, it was fun. It was a good time. So yeah, this is going to turn into refinery things. And then from then on, I don't know. We'll just have to see, but, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.